Yo, <laughs> what's good? It's Mastermind MMA, and this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is is Conor McGregor and basically everything that's developing, everything that's been playing out. Um, uh, I did a video before he released the statement I put it up yesterday um it's called Conor McGregor Mick retires um a little corny but I thought it fits <laughs> but uh so basically after I put that up you could go uh, listen to that I was just talking about my speculation what I think is going on and um as as things are playing out Connor released uh, an essay that um, <laughs> he uh, I'm, I'm not going to bother to read that entire thing out loud to you guys. If you guys want to check it out, I'm sure I'm shit. I'm, I'm sure you guys already heard it. So um, if you haven't uh, go to Bloody Elbow, BJ Penn or even uh, his Facebook page. But uh, I saw it on like Bloody Elbow or BJPen.com. But basically, essentially, he said, um, I don't get paid to promote. Um, I'm, I'm staring defeat in the face. I'm, I'm facing the longer, taller, heavier man. And, um, you know, looking back where I went wrong my I think about all the promo I did and that's where my training went wrong and um let Nate's mushy face he looks good up there and yada 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 so on and so forth and then um he said he is not retiring for UFC for contract purposes in USADA because Dana White came out and said if he truly indeed is talking, I mean retiring, he's got to talk to us, let us know, or give it to us in writing, because then you get stripped for your title, you gotta let you sort of know, you gotta, you know, it's something like uh, four months to where you can't do anything, and then four months before you could come back, which I think is incredibly smart, because people could just juice and then come back, I, I, I like that rule, you know what I mean, it's very... It's very smart on the stance of USADA. But where do I start? Okay. I have a plethora of issues with the statement he released, man. If, 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 okay, I'm going to be speaking and rebuttaling his statement. If, if you're not paid to promote and you're only paid to fight, by that logic, why is John Jones not the highest paid fighter of all time? If that's your logic, because it, it, it kind of sounds like you're saying that that it's because of the fight you're making that money, which is incorrect. Conor McGregor is making the money he is making because of his promotion skills. He literally is purely, almost purely, in a sense, getting paid pr to promote. He's getting paid to promote and then... And then, and then perks are being showered on him because he comes and performs what he was promoting. If there is no press conferences, there's no quote unquote Mystic Mac. There's no predictions because you wouldn't be there. The whole allure to Conor McGregor was that he would call out what he would say he would do and do it. That was his whole thing. When when he was saying, I I I don't see Jose Jose coming out of the first round. And then when he knocked him out in thirteen seconds, everybody's like, "Whoa!" 
you know, when when a guy hasn't lost in over a decade and you take him out in 13 seconds. And, and, and it's not only that he did it, but it was the fact that he said he was going to do it in his promotions, in, in his promoting duties, in the press conferences. If you're saying, granted, uh, Conor McGregor is probably the only fighter on the roster that's paid more to promote than to fight. He, he He's a good fighter. Don't get me wrong. He has skill. Do not get me wrong. Especially at the featherweight division. Yeah, and, and his style is, is very flashy and entertaining. I can respect that. But I, I, I'm sorry. You you are not putting on that phenomenal, phenomenal performances that give you a million dollar disclosed purse. Take away all the promoting he's done. He's he 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 he's not much of I uh, he he the the factor that makes him so much of a draw is his promoting. And I don't think anybody will disagree with me. Why wasn't Pettis getting a million dollar disclosed pay? Why wasn't why wasn't shit, man. Hate to say this, but why isn't DC getting close to a million dollar disclosed pay? DC's a good fighter. Why why isn't Fabricio Verdum getting a million dollar disclosed pay? I could go on and on and on. Connor isn't the best fighter in the UFC. He is making the most money because of his promotional skills. He gets eyes on the TV sets. Fingers typing in credit card information for pay-per-view and asses in the seat. That is why he gets the money. Because at the end of the day, that's the business end of things. And he and he comes and he comes and most of the time he shows up. But if he just came and showed up, it would not be as impressive. Without the, the 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 easiest thing I could say is John Jones, man. Undefeated. Nobody has beaten John Jones, and if you don't know that one on the record, that one loss is by disqualification for I think it was like, uh, I don't know the angle, a twelve to six elbow. I don't remember, but he threw a, a, an illegal elbow at Matt Hamill, and instead of a point being taken away, they disqualified him. I know people like to say, John Jones beats John Jones. John Jones beats himself. In that aspect, with the elbow, yeah, he kind of did beat himself. But that could probably easily be appealed because that was supposed to be a point deduction, not a disqualification. So, why 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 isn't John Jones making a million dollars disclosed pay? He he gives in perform he gives performances worthy of million dollar disclosed pay. But guess what? John's not he's not going out there saying. I don't I don't see Daniel Cormier making it out of this round or or trust me it's going to be a third round knockout or second round knockout or yada 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 That's what Connor was doing and that's why So for him to to say he doesn't get paid to promote that's stupid because only reason you're getting paid the way you are is for your promotion skills and and the reason that you were able to progress is because up until Nate Diaz you were backing it up up until Nate Diaz you were doing what you were saying for the most part 
uh, at least when it comes to the fight realm. You're making predictions, and, and you were coming close to them. You were, you were, you were. It the way things were working out, it was going out the way you said it would. But when you said, "I'd like to beat Nate Diaz up," but I don't see him making it out of the second round. And you, Connor, didn't make it out of the second round. Doesn't matter how many times you're right to the public. All it takes is you being wrong one time. And you sure as shit were wrong. Was wrong. So, you know, Nate Diaz hit you with a 1-2 flush. And then he was zoning. Hit you flush on the chin, your knees buckled, and then every single combination was landing from that point. And then you turned into a panic wrestler and went for a takedown that got stuck. And I even see people trying to say, oh, he got Connor, got the takedown. In what world did Connor get the takedown? Nate Diaz sprawled back and then tried to set up a guillotine. So, Connor, anyway, that's besides the point. But for 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 you to say you don't get paid to promote is, is stupid. I think I made that point. Not only was he trying to say that, oh, it takes away from his training, but it w- it came out that the UFC said for every single press junction that he has to go to they will fly him on the top of the line private jet and they are willing to recreate the gym that he's training out anywhere he goes the exact setup no bullshit look it up UFC was willing to compromise everything I think I think that's why they pulled him because he was being unreasonable bro if they're if he's like listen I got to train all right we got you you know what you you don't even have to fuck a fuck a plane ticket we'll give you a jet you could bring your whole team you could fly with your team, and everywhere you go, we'll recreate your gym in your exact layout. So you have your gym to your liking everywhere you go. Your your training doesn't get compromised, and the commitment for the press gets fulfilled. And he said no. He will only do one presser in New York. You know, uh, I, at first I was kind of saying it was a money thing, but it, it's not. He's definitely trying to cash out. Most definitely he's trying to capitalize. But if I'm being honest and from what I see and I'm willing to bet anything what it is, he doesn't want to see Nate Diaz. He he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to do a press conference coming off a loss. Plain and simple. The post-fight press conference that he did after 196, he did that because he saw what happened to Ronda. He saw the hatred she got for hiding her face. So he said, you know what? Let me just suck it up real quick. Let me let me just do some damage control, show up to this, kind of look like I'm handling this well, and then I'm done. That's that. You know, I'm sure he he, he doesn't want to see Nate Diaz. And the reason is because it is Nate Diaz, man. Nate Diaz, is he's not going to be like, oh, you know, I I was good and I got him. Oh, and real quick, real quick, I wanted to make this point. He's saying, oh, the reason I lost is because I didn't prepare well enough for that fight. I was doing too much press. That may as well be a factor. But, um... Hmm. Huh. Who, uh... 
who 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 else could have prepared less than that? I mean, you did have a full training camp. Granted, you were facing RDA, but your your excuse was energy, and you had the most time to get in shape. But anyway, that's besides the point. Hmm. Let me let me think. Who who didn't prepare for a fight? Huh. Oh yeah, maybe uh one Nathan Diaz who didn't even have a training camp, who was on a yacht in Cabo partying it up when he got the phone call. That could work with anyone else. You you're making an excuse you didn't have enough that you didn't prepare the right way when the guy that beat you had zero preparation at all. I'm not buying that. I'm sorry. There, that that's illogical that it's illogical if you're going up against RDA maybe I could buy that maybe but you went up against a guy that had no training he wasn't even in tra- bro he didn't even have time to cut weight and and whatever I think I've made my point on that and and real quick you're really gonna call Nate mushy face? Really? You're gonna say mushy face Nate looks good up there? When listen, Connor, you lost that. You can't. You can't be talking about people like that, especially one that was about to knock you out. Especially a person that finished too early in a fight. You didn't even make it halfway to that fight. And you're still going to be talking crap. I'm humble in victory and humble in defeat. No, you're not. And. And. It's. It's just. It's more and more and more. Looking like you don't want to. Face the public. Coming off of a loss. You could. You could try and. You know, he. He. Conor McGregor is a spin artist. He is an artist when it comes to spinning things, man. Two months ago, he was saying weight classes don't matter. He'll wipe out the entire roster in four months if he didn't have any any um, press press um, obligations. He said at the 196 press conference when it was already like, oh, if I didn't have to do all this, I'd wipe out the whole roster in four months. Weight classes don't mean anything. Yada, 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 yada. And and now you're saying, I'm searching for my revenge. I'm fighting the bigger, taller, heavier guy. Really? And when you're fighting RDA or scheduled to, and you're like an inch taller than him, you're bragging about how you're the bigger man. But besides that, you were you were the same guy who's saying weight classes don't matter. You wipe out the roster in uh, four months, yada yada yada. But now your whole tune changed. Honestly, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it, it, the whole package of Conor McGregor is kind of the eloquence that he delivers things. It's like the whole the whole British narrator thing. You know, when you want to when you get a documentary and you got some guy, oh, you know, the 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 cheater runs 70 miles per hour, they could get upward to speed. The cheater is one of the greatest uh, is, and they could run up to speeds upwards of 74 miles per hour, which is essentially the speed that your car goes when you rev that. And you know what I mean? It just sounds fancier. Straight up. And that's all it is. He just makes things sound fancy and people buy into it. Because everything he's saying, I'm not going to waste my time in finding the exact quotes in the time when he said it, but you guys could look it up. That statement is a direct contradiction of everything he was talking about in the state of ego. Everything. 
whether it's coming to the pre- what everyone knows Connor talked his way to paydays. Connor talked his way to 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 getting that million dollar disclosed pay. It was all talk. Granted he backed it up for a while, but because he backed it up, because he backed up the talk, it led to that progression. I, I'm going to reiterate it, and I've been saying this. John Jones has had the most phenomenal performances. He is the greatest fighter of all time to date. And he's not making what you're making. John Jones could probably beat Conor McGregor hopping on one foot. And he's not getting paid what you're getting paid. What is the difference? The promotion. So for you to say that is just retarded. And. And. For. You know. It, it's just. And and then. You know. For the UFC. To. Come out. And pull him off the card. I agree with it. And, and he's trying to take this route of. Of being standing up for fighters and fighters right and getting increasing the pay. What did he say? I I forget what day it was. It was some some special day, some like inter, international. I don't even remember. I don't give a shit. But he was like, oh, today three years ago today I brought I bought I started my journey taking you bums from like four figure paydays to six figures and not even a thank you. You did that by running your mouth at press conferences. You did that by saying you're going to knock this guy out in this round and doing it. You did it by grabbing Jose's belt at a press conference. You even said you sell the fight like WWE. You said this. And now when it's not in your favor, that, that's being such a coward. You know, I can't even sympathize with him because he's not being honest. He's trying to spin it so he looks good. And he he even tries to sprinkle. You see, he he's he really knows fan psychology. Because he tries to come from a place of sympathy. He 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 tried to he tries to mask his arrogance with with sympathetic statements like I st- I'm staring defeat in the face. I'm humble in victory, humble in defeat. He tries to say these things, but if you analyze the actions, it's directly the opposite of the sympathetic statement. And people aren't seeing through this. People are still caught up in it. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. If you take away all the press conferences from Conor McGregor's career, he will not be where he he would not be one of the biggest draws in the UFC. Even if he did beat Joe, if all his fights went the exact same way it did, take away the press conferences, no one cares, man. Hardly anyone cared about the 45 pound division. But it was the way he ran his mouth that did it. It was entertaining. It was in an Irish accent. So it sounded cooler. Straight up. That's it. Cause, cause, that's really the only difference, man. Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz. Look at, look at the Diaz brothers. They're a big draw. Why? They talk shit. And he he posted a, a picture on Instagram saying, um, in Iceland, like all my bills are paid, and the game is slayed. Hashtag your move or something like that. So when it when it comes down to it, honestly, I believe he doesn't. Because what is he gonna do? What is he going to say at the press conference? Yeah, Nate, you got me that time, but I'm going to get you this time. When Nate didn't even have a training camp. 
he, he, he doesn't know what to say. And he doesn't, he doesn't want to show his true vulnerability. And that's plain case, simple and point. He doesn't want to show how vulnerable he is because his ego won't allow him to. You already know it's Mastermind MMA.